Hello everybody, my name is Fisk31, and in this Telescore tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to go from uh, getting your scoreboard set up from Telescore onto OBS with text files. Um, this is an early version of Telescore, um, so um, if you are watching this in the long-term future, this may be a little outdated, but as of September 6, 2022, this should be um, up to date. So in this video, I'm going to be assuming you are already at this point. You should be able to start, stop, reset, add points, subtract points for multiple tally counters, and be able to set your team. That's what my assumption is going to be in this video. If you are not at this stage, please go to the other videos that I will be making. Um, which will be explaining you what each component does and how to connect them so they work. If you are at this point, congratulations on making it this far. And now let's get this into OBS. In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to get this to OBS. So you may notice that for each um, time display, score display, and team component, there is a file property that says file output location. And by default, it'll say period slash output slash whatever the original um, component name is. If you rename the component, like I have game clock, it will not um, rename this automatically. So you're going to type that in yourself. Uh, but once you actually add and subtract a score, it will actually save um, whatever um, file output location you have. Um, where it actually saves by default is if you go to your Telescore folder, um, there should be a folder called output. So by default, it should be all right here. Notice you have the game clock, it says five minutes. You have uh, score display five, which says zero. You have the home team logo, which is a red box with an A, home team with a B. Team attribute says home team. The other team or the team attribute says three wins, three losses, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get the idea. It saves in this folder by default. Uh, but let's say um, you don't want it here. Um, what you're going to do is if you um, started and stopped the timer, and just so you know what I'm talking about, I'm going to delete the game clock. So I'll delete the game clock and notice how it's now gone. If you hit the start button, and pause it, um, it's still the same file output location, and notice how it came back. So just so you guys are aware, if you guys changed the file output location, it will um, still keep the original file name uh, that you had before, so you have to delete it. Just like in this example right now, let's say you don't want this in this folder. You want it in a dedicated folder, because you want better organization like me. So what you're going to do is you're just going to delete these. And then what you're going to do is save it to a different folder. Now you could type the file output location you want it to go to, but I strongly don't recommend doing that. Instead, what you're going to do is for each thing for the file output location, like the time display, et cetera, et cetera, like the team attribute, instead of typing it out, and instead of having it saved to the uh, Telescore folder for the output, you're going to click on these three, dot, three dots right here. And it is going to open up File Explorer. Now, in my example, I already have a folder made. You might have to make your own folder at this point. But once you have a location where you want to save it, you can save it anywhere. It could be on your desktop. It could be in a folder. It could be wherever. You just go to that folder and then you type the file name you want. It could be any file name, or it could be any name you want. It does not have to be Game Clock. I could call this Game Timer if I wanted to, but just for this example, I'm just going to call it Game Clock. Then you hit Save. And what that's going to do is, it is going to save this. In here. Just like that. That's all you have to do. You just have to click on these three dots right here and save it wherever you want. Same thing applies for the score display. Click on the three dots. Luckily, um, it'll go to the last folder location you are at. So it'll be in the same location I want it to be uh, as the clock. 
So I'll call this home points counter. Notice that this is also a different name from the points, uh, from the component name, which is home points. I'm going to call this home points counter. I'll click save. And once again, it saves right here. I'll make this a five. It goes to five. You subtract it to one. It'll go back to one. And then the same thing applies here. Away, away points counter. And once again, save there. The interesting thing is for the team thing, it's going to save three things. It's going to save um, two. Um, it's going to save two um, text things, but it's only one file output location. So this is going to be a little unique. So let's say you set your logo. Uh, which would be um, you just click on this and then you go to whatever team logo you want, which I did. And then let's uh, let's say you want to set your team. Don't hit set team yet if you wanted to go to a dedicated spot because currently it is still set for the um, output folder originally. So instead, before you hit set team, just hit the three dots, go to the folder you want, and then name it what you want. In this example, I will call it home team info and hit save. Then, uh, currently you may notice it's not going to do anything right now. So in order to get the text file and the image file to load in, then you set set team. And as you notice, it'll save right here. It'll say home team info and it'll say attribute. The attribute one or ATTR is the second one, which will say five wins or losses. And the home team info name, which is the top one, we'll just say home team. And then of course you got the um, you got the team logo. And of course, the same thing applies here. You will go to here, type in away team info, and click save. And then it'll be in the same location. Notice how it saves all in the same location. And it should no longer also save in the output folder as well. But as you can see, there is no, no longer anything in here unless you hit any of the buttons that changes the value of these buttons um, prior to saving it in the folder location. Once again, you got all of this here. You got the text files for each thing, and then you got the image. But now you have to get this onto OBS. And to do that quickly, I'm going to show you how to do it on OBS. So after you have everything set up for the um, text files and the um, and the image files are set up for your team, what you're going to do is go onto OBS and you're going to go to where it says sources and there's going to be a plus icon. You're going to click on the plus icon and you're going to go to where it says text GDI plus. You're going to click on this. You can name it whatever you want. We'll do game clock first uh, or game clock test. And then what you're going to do is you're going to change whatever font you want. You can choose whatever font you want. It could be any font that you want. And for this one, we'll just stick with Arial. Um, in order to make it read the file, there's going to be a read from file checkbox right here. You're going to click on that, and it's going to have this come up right here. Um, what you're going to do is click on Browse, and then you're going to look for your text file in the folder. For this text source specifically on OBS, I'm going to choose Game Clock. And as you can see, it loads up onto the. So let's um, hide display capture for a bit. I'll uh, reopen up my. Um, I'll reopen up my scoreboard thing. Because I accidentally closed it. And then when I hit start, as you can see, the timer starts counting down. And when I hit stop, it stops. Pretty easy. And then you could resize it however you want, put it wherever you want. At this point, then you just got to decorate it yourself on OBS. Text source. So right here, I'll show you once again. You'll go here, properties, read from file, select it. And then just like that, we'll turn this off. You can see it. And 
just like that, it'll stay.